everyone. Welcome to Arena Talks Fantasy and Sci-Fi. I'm your host, Arinda, and today we're talking about Pokemon with Olga Fett. Pokemon is a series of video games developed by Game Freak and published by Nintendo and the Pokemon Company under the Pokemon Media franchise. Of course, we already have talked about Pokemon before, and I did that with Yako. So, it would be nice to see from an other point of view what they have and why they are a fan of Pokemon. Our guest today is Olga Fett. Hello Olga and thank you for joining me. Hey. <laughs> nice talking to you again. How are you? It could be better, <laughs> to <laughs> say the least. But um Overall, um, for now, I'm in a good mood to talk about something I'm very passionate about, so uh, that's a good thing. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly a good thing. So, today we're going to talk about Pokemon. Tell me a little word, what is Pokemon? Ooh, okay, so it's, um, it's a whole world with uh, creatures, and these creatures possess... Um, attacks or abilities to utilize uh, elements as well as other type of elements. Yeah, it's hard to explain. And uh, the major goal within that universe is to catch these creatures called Pokemon with all these abilities. And these creatures are able to evolve in a stronger form. At least majority of them is able to. And uh, yeah, this it's it's also a very uh, it's also a very complicated world. So there's way more beyond just uh, catching all the creatures that there are, <laughs> and attacking and and fighting each other. It's it's a very big universe. You have also different types of uh, people because you also have people, of course, catching these creatures called Pokemon. And you can either be like a Pokemon trainer, so that's just that you train these Pokemon and you fight other trainers. And you collect something that's called a gym badges. And these are sort of dojos where you fight uh, the leader of the dojo eventually. And it is he's a sort of, he or she is a master of a certain type of Pokemon. And if you defeat eight of them in a certain area, then the person is sort of champion. Well, after the Elite Four, which is like even stronger trainers. But you can also, you have also, uh, you also have, even have the Mafia in this world, Yay. which is uh, Team Rocket. So I think you should maybe at least know uh, Jesse and James and Meowth. So these belong to the Mafia, which is Team Rocket. Uh, but you also have other kind of evil groups with their own kind of goals. You have also legendary Pokemon. Which all each have their own kind of lore, which I won't go right now into it because it's a very long story. Um, and yeah, in this world, there's just a lot of possibilities. You can be become so as I've said, you can become a trainer, you can become a coordinator. So that is where you put up. A, there's like a sort of show, and you try to bring out the beauty of your own Pokemon. But you also have something called a Pokemon Rangers. Uh, where you try to not really catch Pokemon, you try to preserve um, the safety of wild Pokemon and uh, areas where they live in. And pff, I can go on a very long time, but it's a beautiful universe, basically. And there's so many possibilities. How many different versions of Pokemon is there? Uh, do you mean the games or mm. do you mean something else? In the game, yeah. Oh, uh, pff, uh, the number of games. Pff, okay, you have the red, blue, yellow. Yeah. <laughs> I really have to count it on my hands because otherwise I would not <laughs> be able to. But you have these three ones, and then you have uh, gold, silver, crystal, uh, ruby, sapphire. I also call in the remakes, I guess. Fire red, leaf green, emerald. Oh my god. Well, it, just just trust me, it's a lot. <laughs> Many. <laughs> Otherwise, I will be here to tomorrow counting them. But um, I think at least, uh, I think around almost 20 
maybe more because there are also other games besides the main games so sort of side games and then it really exceeds the 20 easily so are you more a fan of the games or the enemy uh actually on multiple levels even beyond just these two ones so the animes i was just a fan of it since i was a little kiddo uh so yeah so i watched all of the anime back in the day till i think uh the unova region then i sort of stopped and now i sort of started again with an uh region sort of yeah but uh y- yes i'm i'm still a fan of the anime but there are some seasons i'm not fond of and i also love the games there are some games of course i adore a lot like pokemon emerald um and platinum is very good and also some newer ones but um uh i i have to admit though that the more recent games so the ones on the switch i haven't played much because i don't own a switch so i use an emulator (laughs) to play those games uh but yeah i'm still just a fan because it's just the same concept over and over again uh so i don't think i will yeah change my opinion that fast on the games another field i'm also a fan of is the whole competitive battling so you have you you know if you play the game you can just battle gym leaders trainers friends but there's also a certain level where it gets a bit more competitive and that's competitive battling and i also did that um uh, quite some years ago <laughs> at this point so I also loved it on that level of the comp- uh, the more competitive side of trying to find the best moves and attacks for my Pokemon, the right strategy to win to win against another person. Uh, what I also love about this whole franchise is the Pokemon card game. Uh, so uh, since I was a very young child, I've already like tried to get all of the Pokemon cards that were available and. <laughs> I was always looking at like these flea markets for very cheap packs of Pokemon cards. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so but I, I, I didn't know how to play Pokemon TCG. I only, I only collected them when I was young. <laughs> Cause, and when I got like a shiny one, I was so happy. But, um, but like a few years ago, I finally understand or understood how it actually works, the TCG, and it's quite easy. So I've also been fond of that. And I have also another level. <laughs> Sorry if it's if I'm going a bit on a tangent. Uh, <laughs> but um, I also love uh, writing stories. Or I did till, till a few years ago. I used to write stories that I would be a, a Pokemon trainer or something else. Just, just a person aff- affiliated with Pokemon in some way or another. And I would go on grand adventures and I would write all these stories uh, together with other people. So think of Dungeon Dragons, but but then written, (laughs) basically. And I did that for quite some years and I had a lot of fun with that. And I had like a lot of adventures with my different characters that I had. Um, Let's see. I also uh, draw (laughs) a lot of Pokemon. (laughs) <laughs> it's not really yeah i i also like to draw pokemon and watch related videos on the the story behind pokemon designs because there's a lot of background on that there's a lot of uh interesting insights in that if you know it it's it's a kind of relevation re- but also other sites uh on pokemon so but um i'm also curious uh in this case for you so what is actually your experience with Pokemon? Have you watched the anime? Did you... Was like Pokemon trading card game... Was it also kind of... Sort of the... The grade school... <laughs> playground thing already? And uh, how was your experience with it? Well, to be honest... Um, I'm not really into Pokemon. Uh, of course, I saw some anime... In between and... Uh, some kind of an episode just now and then, but um, it's not really uh, have been my game, to be honest. Okay, and uh, what was the thing that was not appealing to you? I don't know. It's uh, it's not really uh, 
was into and especially at that moment because um when was it coming out for the first time again uh it, woo, officially in the west uh 1996 okay at that time i was about 13 14 years old mm. so yeah i had just had other things and i think maybe also a little bit of, of my parents my parents always said well uh be uh i always had to grow up fast so mm. i do think my younger brother watched it and played it but i wasn't into that much so oh but that's that's completely fine i mean especially if considering the, that situation then I understand. And so, it's fine if, if... I mean, Pokemon was also a bit, like, pushed in everyone's face. <laughs> <laughs> Around the end of the night was like, Flippos! Pokemon cards! Pokemon this! Pokemon this! Uh, it was, like, everywhere. So, <laughs> I also understand that there were enough people who were like, uh, Nah, it's not my thing. No, no, get it away from me. <laughs> well, I think it, in that period of time I started with Star Trek and Star Trek was one of the reasons I started with TNG so it was I think the first rerun of TNG and I stick to it and Pokemon never I have never been involved with Pokemon uh, that much okay okay so you already had found your own fandom basically <laughs> your own thing I in the time, I didn't know because uh, TNG was pretty new, and I didn't know mm. what uh, TNG would do for me in the long run. So, oh. yeah. Okay. Um, oh, okay. But how do you think? Uh, why is Pokemon so addicted? Uh, I think uh, because they are creatures, and it was. Well, I think I have even watched a video on this, but I think personally that it's because the um, it's 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 uh, it's uh, an awesome idea for when you're uh, think like a kid. You have monsters you can train, and they fight each other, and they're and they have a very cool design. I mean, that is kind of <laughs> kind of the st the whole premise of Pokemon at the start it was like you have creatures, they become stronger, and they have cool designs. Like for example, you have a, a, a lizard with a with a fire uh, on his tail. You have uh, you have a mega turtle with cannons on its back <laughs> and can shoot water. I mean, uh, it would appeal to to children. It it is a very simple concept. It just it's so simple, and that's why it worked so great. Um, so I think that's not... kind of where it was, and they tried to to keep these uh, children by introducing trading card game, by introducing new mechanics in the upcoming games, the main games, and introducing also new Pokemon and other kind of new things in order to keep us hooked on Pokemon. So I think, only, but, uh... yeah, I think the the main thing that kind of hooked up is again the whole very simple principle of you have you have Godzilla look-alike creatures that are fighting <laughs> what is not great about that <laughs> well, what I want to say is it's not only for children but grown-ups are addicted to it too yes so I think those grown-ups are mostly children from back in the day or teenagers from when it came out I have to say because I don't. Uh, I have to admit, my parents were not fond of Pokemon <laughs> when it came out. <laughs> so, <laughs> but I can also admit that even then there were like maybe some adults loving the game. But I think it was just later on that like people grew up and still loved the game. And I think or the whole franchise. And I think that's uh, part nostalgia, especially with what Pokemon Go sort of triggered in a lot of people. Um, but besides the nostalgia's sake, it's just still very, uh, at least for me as an adult, very entertaining. Because there's just so many possibilities within this franchise. 
because you can go you don't even have per se to play the games it's it's the whole it's it's like that yeah, besides the game you still have a lot of things you can enjoy it's like it has different things for different kind of people it has if you like card games play the card games if you like the games play the games if you like the anime watch the anime and there are a ton of other things it has where you, you as an adult can yeah sort of throw yourself into <laughs> And I th I can at least say personally why I love Pokemon. It's 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 a bit hard to explain um, because it's sort of ingrained in me. It's a sort of part of me actually, sort of. And a lot of friends will associate associate me with Pokemon because <laughs> it's just a part of who I am and also a part of um, yeah, just what I've loved all those years. I still love because I still love the games. I still love this. I still li like that. I I of course have a more critical eye <laughs> in comparison to when I was a kid to all of this stuff of what Pokemon does uh, but overall they are not gonna lose me as a fan for now because <laughs> okay. I don't know, it's, it's still fun so what I was talking about was the movies and uh, I just saw that there was a Pokemon movie called Pokemon Detectives on Netflix. Have you ever seen it? Yes, I have seen when it uh, came out. <laughs> so talk, tell me something about that. Did you like it? Is it? Yeah, uh, I would say it was a very good movie. It was actually exceeding my expectation because my expectations were quite low. Because <laughs> uh, Netflix and live actions are not always a good thing. Um, but this movie, it was it was really good. So I really liked the storyline itself. It was kind of predictable because I I have seen gameplay of the uh, game where the movie was based on, which is also called Detective Pikachu. So I already already knew the whole uh, the, sort of the plot, uh, but still, it was very well done. The Pokemon were very well animated. They they did actually a very good job, also trying to show how the world would look like, how our world would look like if Pokemons were real, like real creatures walking around and doing the thing. And I think it's just, especially the animation part, they did very well. So with the Pikachu, they did it very good with the Charizard. And the Mr. Mime was a bit... Mm, <laughs> yeah, the Mr. Mime was um, something else. Uh, <laughs> but besides that, it was really well done, and the storyline and the acting was very good as well, which I also was not expecting. So I had actually a very, a very good time watching that movie. It was really, really good. So you can recommend that to everyone who has never seen it or doesn't know Pokemon. Isn't it also a movie to uh, get acquainted with Pokemon? I think I think it's I think I, I would for first of all I would recommend it because uh, it's really a good movie. Uh, even if you indeed don't like Pokemon, it's it's a very uh, it's a very enjoyable movie because it's not just focused on you know uh, sort of Ash Ketchum uh, <laughs> story or anything. So overall, it's a very good story, uh, and I was I would actually indeed. Uh, uh, recommend it also to people who have never watched Pokemon or have been out of it for a long time and want to go back into it. Then this is a good like movie to watch, I'd say. It's it just a, a very nice introduction without pushing like Pokemon in your face. Like, ah, you should love Ash Ketchum and Missy and Brock again and all their adventures. It is like completely separate. It's like an own little story and a very good one on top of that and you can also just see it as a sort of just a, just another good movie with creatures with ability powers if you really don't like pokemon so yes it's it's a it's a very good entree to uh, the pokemon franchise yes so what i was wondering is um is the storyline of the games and uh, the anime the same as uh, those two together or is it just completely different? 
Yeah, the anime and games are quite different. <laughs> so, uh, besides the whole getting all your badges part, uh, it's there are quite some differences. So, some things are similar and some things aren't. Um, I have to say that just overall, usually the game, the in-game story is usually um, way... It's, it's a bit more... Yeah, sometimes it's better than the anime and sometimes it isn't. So, um, yeah, so if especially uh, you have, um, there's one generation where it has, of course, its own set of games. And it's actually generation six. So they implement for the first time like 3D models and such. But the storyline was really poor. While the anime was very in-depth it was way more um dramatic there was so much more on, on stake well i mean okay both had the destruction of the world but besides the point <laughs> the one was so much more yeah the the anime was in that case way better because it was really um you gave you got more information about the characters that you see in the game but you, you got more information on their motivations uh, how they behave and also, there were some extra nice plot twists set up. And also some extra very interesting characters put in the anime. To make the whole climax of the game. So where you sort of fight the e e evil leader or the legendary Pokemon. It gets uh, very intense. And in the game, uh, it, it was a bit lacking, in, especially that generation. But in the anime... There was like, there was so much going on and it was way, way better. So yeah, so there are some, so the overall plotline, the overall like gym badges and all those things are similar, but they execute it differently. So in the games, it's executed differently than in the anime. And sometimes the one is better than the other. Do you have any favorite characters in it? Um, you mean in the anime, right? Yeah, but also maybe uh, in the games itself. Okay, um, let's see where I should start. Uh, <laughs> um, I would say I really like uh, May from uh, the, the Hoenn region. That's like the third generation of games. Um, because uh, she's also like the female character you can play in the games. But in the anime, she's like a whole like character, and she starts off as a as a just a girl who is scared of Pokemon. She's really scared of them, and she doesn't want anything to do with them. And over the course of time, you really see her grow into a very strong individual that is not scared of Pokemon first of all, but also goes through some hardships and manages to get out of it. And um. And she becomes like even a very good rival for Ash. Well, while her her goal is to begin, become the best uh, coordinator. So the, the whole show show how beautiful your Pokemon are uh, part. She has a different goal than Ash, but still they like help each other out. And and there's also one one uh, incidence where they also fight each other and also love that. But yes, I just, I don't, I don't know why, but I, I just really love just how much she grew as a person. And also just uh, her flaws. I appreciate her flaws because I also recognize some of her flaws in myself. Um, like be sometimes a bit impulsive and such. <laughs> so, and stubborn. Um, but besides that, um, I also love, um, uh, how is she, uh, Cynthia. So Cynthia is the champion of the fourth generation, and she's one of the strongest trainers like in all time. She has a very strong Pokemon team. A lot of people would, I think, agree, agree on this, that she's really difficult to beat and she's badass. Because she's really, she's really cool. She just she's like has a very cool aura, she's very chill, and she's very interested in the history and the mythology of the region that she comes from. But she also has very strong Pokemon. And, uh, well, she's a very 
a very involved champion as well in the games. As in the anime, this is also very cool. Um, but another, yeah. Uh, there's so many characters. Um, let's see, we have that one. Um, there's also another character, but uh, that's a bit un unpopular opinion, I guess. It's from the new season of Pokemon, where there's a guy who's trying to catch all of the Pokemon that exists. And he's called Go. And actually kind of like him because it's finally someone that's actually trying to catch them all. Because Ash hasn't been doing that for all of those 25 years. <laughs> but uh, Go is trying to do that. And he starts a bit out as a yeah, annoying kid at the start. But now he's maturing. And I really like to see the maturing process in, uh, in the characters. And he's actually also getting more compared, more... Because he's not a fan of fighting, like Pokemon battling. But he slowly picks up on it. And he's also very good at it. And he's also trying to understand Pokemon better. And I think the last one that I will just mention is Brock. Because Brock is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I have to say. Brock is amazing. <laughs> is there any particular thing or storyline or character that you say of, okay, I like to tell you guys more about that who um mm, i don't Im i don't immediately have one per se because uh, the one i like in i'm most interested in i sort of already kind of explained so other ones yeah uh oh i forgot about it you also have the manga <laughs> You also have the, 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 the comics. So manga is just a Japanese uh, comic book, which is in black and white. Um, and you read it from right to left. <laughs> um, and the, the, the characters from the game, so they have the, the, the names of the games. So you have a character called Red, a character called Yellow, and going on. I, I also like all, I like all of them. I, I, I did indeed read the manga. Because I also love that. Because it's called Pokemon Adventures. And it's darker than the anime. I can at least tell you that. Um, but I actually also adore all of those characters. I forgot to mention, but uh, it slipped my mind. But it popped right back in. <laughs> but uh, I also adore all those um, characters. And yeah, but yeah, they're a bit different than their anime and game counterparts. Uh, so yeah, you have for example one character who is resembling Emerald. So that is the third game from the uh, third gen. And that character is trying to appear very long and has all these gadgets attached to him. Um, but actually he's very small and people discovered very later on. And he also doesn't want to become a Pokemon trainer, but he still loves Pokemon battling. And somehow, when he does the uh, sort of uh, the what was it the Battle Frontier, which is sort of um, part of the game slash anime uh, slash manga, <laughs> where uh, you just do a lot of very tough, very difficult Pokemon challenges, and it's at the end of the, when you already did all the gym badges and everything. And he actually, he, there are actually like three Pokemon later on more that sort of get. Uh, befriend this guy while he's like no I don't want to have Pokemon I just want to do the battling because I love battling and <laughs> it's a very interesting character it's like very very strange character but yeah but that is one of the strange you also have a crystal catch everything every Pokemon you have um, uh, the Ruby and Sapphire which are a couple uh, eventually but they also have a complicated relationship at the start <laughs> So one, the one is a sort of a wild girl who like is a lot of in the in the bush bush because the because this region has a lot of jungle and she usually wants to go into the jungle part, and the other guy is more of oh I like everything fabulous and beautiful ah, and that is because they both had a trauma when they were younger, the one wants to become strong and the other one was more focused on beauty, and being more passive and uh, yeah. It's it's a whole long story, but 
it, it just keep in mind the whole that I can keep talking for hours about the Avengers uh, manga of Pokemon, which is I also recommend. Even if you don't like Pokemon, I also recommend that reading it. It's really good. So have you ever done or online or just on conventions um, uh, playing to other people? So I there I didn't go to conventions per se for Pokemon. I only went to a few events when I was younger. So there was I was one time in vacation in south of France, and there was actually sort of po the pinball game. It was Pokemon Pinball, I think. It was somewhere in two thousand three or something. I and I did play it there with a lot of other children, but no, I have not really been to. I have been to conventions, of course, but not Pokemon specific ones. But I, I did buy uh, a lot of Pokemon merch at conventions, which had Pokemon merch. So then I would buy it and I would also wear like t-shirts, t-shirt with uh, a Pokeball, Pokeball on it with, uh, what was it again? Got to catch you all or something? No, um, I'm going to catch you. Something like very cheesy line. <laughs> um, yeah, so no, not, not specifically for Pokemon, no, sadly enough. But what I also mean, uh, do you play competitions uh, with Pokemon? Cause there, are competi there are competitions indeed, yeah. Have you ever been to the or...? Mm, also not, because uh, most of the competitions were uh, our TCG, so trading card game. And even though I can play it now, I couldn't back then. <laughs> And I think they, now they're a bit more rare. I mean, in the Netherlands, outside, I think outside of the Netherlands, there are a lot of competitions for TCG, but I'm not completely on top of that stuff. Uh, but no, I've also not competed in that. I'm also not really interested in doing that. I prefer to keep like, for example, TCG for fun. Uh, and competitive battling, there are a lot of competitions, uh, but I also uh, didn't do that like, Serious. I didn't participate in a serious competition uh, for that. No. And okay. I don't think I would like to because I, I just like to have a little bit competitive battling, but not like try to win like a prize or anything because uh, I already know like, oh, these people are going to own me. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. Have you ever seen your cosplay of Pokemon? Uh Mm, not specifically, no. It's, it's only it's, it's only stick to the T-shirt. <laughs> I only had like a Pokemon T-shirt on. I think that's kind of yeah, that's kind of it. But I have seen people wear like wear clothing like uh, Ash, Ketchum, or Misty, or like Brock, uh, or other characters of the anime. I did see people wear things like that, yes. But I haven't done it myself. Mm, well, I well, sort, but never mind, never mind. I sort of did. <laughs> never mind. <laughs> I sort of did. <laughs> um, so previously, when I talked about writing the D and D sort of, but then Pokemon version of sort of on D and D, um, I had a character, and he was sort of pyromaniac skater boy, and <laughs> I did, I did a cosplay like that character, and he will is technically he's. A Pokemon trainer, <laughs> but it's it's I, I'm not sure whether it really counts because it's not like I was wearing Pokeballs with me or anything. Well, I think we have covered a lot of things. Is there anything you'd like to add? Not, uh, yeah, I gotta catch them all, I guess. <laughs> 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 That's the only thing I can... <laughs> But in the case of Pokemon, then I eh, gotta catch them all. <laughs> But yeah, uh, but I nah no not uh, not uh, not really. Besides that, uh, please uh, please give Pokemon Go if you haven't done it already, and uh, just to just know that there's way more just beyond oh fighting with Pikachu or whatever. Because there's a lot of storyline and lore behind the whole Pokemon universe, like with the 
with Arceus, the Pokemon God, and how he created the Alga Palkia, and, and on and on and on. There's just so much behind it. So if you if you're still not a fan of Pokemon, please just give it a try. And if you still don't like it, then just just hop to Yu-Gi-Oh or Beyblade or Biramon. I don't know what. <laughs> or those other things <laughs> from the same era. I also like fan of Yu-Gi-Oh and Blade and. Yeah, that is. Uh, I was also a fan of that uh, as well when I was when I yeah, cause it was the same era of Pokemon. So there was a lot of Digimon, Yu-Gi-Oh, Beyblade, Beatamon. Well, Olga, thank you very much for joining me. No problem. It was my pleasure. It was nice to talk to you again. Yeah, same. So um, I will talk to you another time, maybe in another episode. No, well, it would be fun, so... Uh... <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Dear listeners, I'd like to thank you for listening to this podcast. I hope you like it, and I try to be the first as much as I can. Tell me what you think how I'm doing with this podcast. If you have any tips for me how I can do things better, let me know. If you'd like to talk about this episode, or want to comment on this episode, you can reach out on Podbean, the Facebook group, the YouTube channel, and the Discord server for Renatox Fantasy and Sci-Fi. I also have a Twitter account especially for this podcast, at O-T-F-A-S-P. Renatox Fantasy and Sci-Fi is also to listen, follow, and subscribe on Podbean, Spotify, Google Podcasts, the Facebook group, and the YouTube channel. In the next episode, we will talk about Battlestar Galactica, the series from 2004. I'm your host, Thank you for listening, and I will see you next time.